choices are there for you. The best of all still is um, the best way to predict the future is to create it. This means, this is, this is the, told by Peter Drucker. He is the father of modern management, Peter F. Drucker. So he has told this. This means doing anything on your own. There is nothing equal to it. I always advocate um, start anything on your own. The first question when I say start anything on your own, um, where is the money? How can I start? I must tell you a truth that to start anything, to start a business, money is the last thing you need. Before that, you should have many more things. Your commitment, mindset, the business mindset is the first thing you should have to start a new business. And money is the last thing. If the mindset is there, money will come its way. So uh, doing business is the first thing I will you know, Doing business does not mean starting your own big construction company with 1,000 employees. Never imagine like that what you see in movies. That can happen only in movies. But in real life, you have to start with small uh, step. It may be a consultancy, it may be a small construction, or it may be a remodeling or an interior remodeling contract or a small uh, service or a material supply even. So all these are, this is how we have to start start small. So this is the um, first and uh, um, best uh, lesson I can say with my 26 years of experience. I have worked uh, on a, for a contractor, I have done on my business, I have done um, flat development, I have worked in the government, I have worked on the client side, contractor side, consultant side, owner's engineer. So out of all, I must say that doing business is the best uh, kind of uh, profession you can, you can create for yourself. More than money, uh, you are creating something new which was not there and you promote your brand. You are creating your own brand, you are selling yourself, you are selling your own creativity. And if you work under somebody, there is a limitation for that. But if you start your own business, there is there is no limit that you can earn money. So if you have ideas coming up, then it is much more easier for you uh, to, to make your own uh, business. For example, how Amazon was started. You might have read stories, how Apple was started, how Microsoft was started. So at least all these things were started with some investment in hand. Imagine how Uber was started, how Facebook was started. They didn't have any, uh, Facebook doesn't develop any content on their own. Except that few, Zucker, Mark Zuckerberg, sometimes he's throwing one or two things. That's all. After that, uh, you know, uh, Facebook does not develop any content. Uber does not have any uh, car. So like this, Amazon, they don't produce anything. They are only selling. Um, so, so many like this in the recent past. These are only ideas sticking up, which was not there. So when you start your business, you have to see only uh, two things. One, uh, what traditionally, what is required for the people? Food. Traditionally, it is required for the people. We call it as FMCG, frequently marketed consumer goods. Now, frequently marketed consumer services. You have to add the word F plus FMCG. G CG plus FM, S also you have to add, which is frequently required consumer service. So you have to look at this. If you are uh, conservative way, this is one way. And the other one is ideas, new ideas like uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp kind of uh, things. So you have to create a new idea. There are uh, numerous avenues and opportunities for you. For example, um, uh, you see, we know that construction is a labor uh, dependent, um, sector in India, at least today, today's scenario, at least for a few years, it is going to be labor dependent. We know all of that, uh, that labor is an important point, uh, important factor, important element in construction industry. And now, you know what we have seen in the last uh, two months, the laborers walking, walking, walking all across the country. Government is doing so many things. They are running trains, uh, state governments are doing, central governments are doing. Other than that, uh, the district uh, administration is doing, NGOs are doing, individuals are doing, we're helping them. In spite of that, people keep walking. Nobody has the correct number. The state governments are giving one number, 
the statistical department gives one number and the construction industry development gives one number the central government gives the one number the labor ministry gives one number nothing is corroborative everyone is having their own numbers and then so many engineers in the past and so many engineering organizations are there none of them have bothered to create a database or create a system to monitor what is the exact number of that at least uh, to few thousand accuracy so what uh, i have a suggestion for that i have suggested to cidc uh, yesterday only i sent a mail uh, stating that um, we can uh, in india at least one person is always knowing where you are in town or out of town we you know who is the person the postman every place in india is having a pin code which means it is already mapped every place in india is mapped with uh, we can we can identify the location with the pin code number pin code is a, a is a zone which is easily known by the postman so whenever the labor is moving i have recommended a framework it's not a small system or single idea it should come as a framework they have to create a framework they have to involve the postal department so that when the labor moves from one place or other somewhere within india was at least to from one pin code one to one pin code he has to move the moment they go the first thing they have to register there once they register only they have to uh, the employer has to admit them like this i have recommended a framework like this this is one kind of business opportunity you can create a software for that nobody even thought about it They were only blaming the government for that so this is uh, one such idea came within last uh, one month uh, for me so like this you can create your own idea to make your own brand your own money to explain further uh, on the on, on your own employment how most people live their life you have to see how most people live their life first 20 years you live life learn play all at your parents money um, <clears throat> so next uh, from 20 to 60 65 years you survive from monday to friday work for weekend and then get into emi uh, tangle then Uh, work 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 for aware and then after 65 then you become tired and then you feel sorry for your life and sorry for not what uh, you have not explored so you don't have to live a empty life like this so this is how most people, this is the most productive year from 20 to 65 you are spending it for someone for a limited money and someone is making profit out of you and then you are getting only limited uh, profit so there is a video about your job is the biggest waste in your life in youtube it is available you can go and see it to know further uh, about this and another slide i want to explain it uh, your job versus your business <coughs> okay if you see a person with uh, starting a career from first year to at least 9 years his his salary his, his revenue is almost the same this picture it is given same but your revenue in the first uh, 10 years of your experience you cannot uh, bargain for a big uh, salary hike because you have not proved yourself to the industry so far so you cannot ask for a big hike and uh, circumstances are so that you cannot even get a big uh, hike but not more than 1 or 2 or 3 percentage uh, big hike like 5 percentage 10 percentage were heard only in countries like india but uh, here uh, outside india it's only um one two or three percentage only which means it is an adjustment for uh, your inflation because these countries have limited inflation of uh, two to three percentage so they pay a maximum of three uh, percentage only on that parlance if you see for the first nine years your revenue will be almost constant but if you start your own business you'll be very tough in the few years after that once the build brand is built then you have your own uh, product life cycle your own project life cycle Your own, your own life cycle. Then um, you determine you are working hours. You determine your holiday. All that you have all the liberty once the brand is established. Maybe after a few years, but uh, you will be struggling for initial few years. But I was to relate this graph to another picture called at the young age you will have time and energy. At the middle age you will have money and energy. At the old age you will have only time, only uh, time and money. Energy will not be there. so if you start your own business uh, you will be running your tough time when you have adequate time and energy when your energy level it at high when your attitude level it's at high and when 
you can you have the confidence more at that time you run through your hardest uh, time to build your business uh, empire so once it is done then you can be uh, happy about it so once uh, the the organizations like prayojana uh, in addition to giving you preparing you for an employment opportunity it can also build the confidence and courage to start your own uh, business be it be your own business or it be in your employment you have to future proof your business or your employment to stay afloat or to stay to continue uh, as long as you do your profession so these are the uh, some of the ways uh, some of the strategies to future proof your profession <clears throat> the number one is the complex problem solving skill this uh, you might have heard this term uh, every now and then you'll know uh, what it is anyway any ideas okay complex problem solving means analyzing the situation in objective finding a solution a noble solution it should be novel solution novel solution in the sense it was not there for a problem which is ill defined or not so well defined so the complex problem is what the pro in some cases the problem will come to you but when you analyze it further you will come to know that is not the problem something else is the problem so in defining the problem itself people make mistake when you become a project manager and you encounter situations so this is where you'll define the problem and then there is a novel solution it should be a novel solution which was done never non routine not every day you will make this kind of uh, situation not every day you will make this kind of uh, uh, solutions uh, problem uh, encounter this kind of problems this is called a complex problem solving skill number one uh, critical thinking which uh, we, we already seen uh, critical thinking about it in in objective uh, seeing things in objective and analyzing with your own uh, observations and data and and uh, your experience backed by your experience creativity doing anything on your own this also we have seen i think in the previous slides people management see um, whatever your qualification uh, your financial success is one of the measures of success in your life i can say financial success is one of the measures in life there are many uh, measures of your success life but financial success is very prominent but this is this is felt by others and this is given by others this is measured by others well so your financial success how much percentage of your education do you think is contributing to your financial success in life 15 percentage this is what uh, the recent research i i have the, the paper also with me only if your education gives contributes only 15 percentage of your financial success what else what 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 is the other percentage 85 percentage of your your financial success is designed decide by your communication skills and people management skills and all these future proofing skills which we are seeing so communication and people management are the major part of your future proofing may it be employment or may it be business and coordinating with others this is also same as uh, working with uh, people coordinating with others means um, when you move to other country you will see world in a different uh, perspective and for example i worked uh, about uh, let me mute this excuse me someone is calling you to mute Is it okay? Is it okay now? Yes, yes, yes. You can proceed. Okay. Then your emotional intelligence. This also we have seen in the future proofing. You might have seen certain things are uh, repeating from previous slides because certain things will stay forever. Judgment and decision making skills. This is next to critical making, critical thinking skills, and service orientation. <clears throat> so when you move to outside india you will know the importance of uh, these skills when i 
Hello? Proceed. Is it audible? Can I proceed? Yeah, or? Proceed, proceed, proceed. Yeah. I worked in uh, India for uh, many years. Uh, when I moved to abroad, I saw a different uh, kind of uh, world. Uh, see, India is a country where the, the, um, the business of project management or the concept of project management is completely misunderstood. In India, the client wants you to know everything as a project manager. If you are a project manager, you should know everything. You should be an expert in all uh, civil, electrical, mechanical, which is wrong. A person cannot be an expert in all things. If he is uh, proving to be expert, he is only pretending or it is, it is only at the surface level, this is not going to be of any use to the project. This is uh, what I understood. In India, a project manager is expected to know everything about the project. Everything about everything. That is impossible for any human being. Here I can say in, in big multi-billion dollar projects, I have seen project managers bluntly saying, sorry, I don't have any idea about it. I have to check with my planning engineer and report to you. And uh, the next day or the same day or the following day is responding to it. There is a genuine way of project management. Project manager is not supposed to know or need not know everything about the project or everything about everything. He cannot be an expert. He's, uh, we have to understand these uh, things I came to know. I, I experienced it after I came out of uh, India. And so there, is, there are few famous problems. One expert in India, whatever he is doing, one expert is achieving. Ten experts in, in, outside the India cannot achieve. Which means whatever is achieved by one expert in India, 10 experts outside India cannot achieve. And similarly, one foreman outside India, a foreman outside India, whatever he achieves, whatever contribution he is making, 10 Indian experts cannot make it. You know what it means? We, once we do it, we do it to the extreme. Otherwise, we we'll remain as labors. This is the image the, uh, all over the world is having at least this part of the Gulf. I have seen, I have experienced, I have seen people talking about it. So it's totally different. That is why at some point of time, I would suggest any of you to come outside India and see the world for some years. And then I'll tell you the, in the next slide, I'll tell you. The negotiation skill. Now, so negotiation skill doesn't only be uh, the salary negotiation. I have explained to you in earlier. These skills are a repetition from the previous slides because certain skills will remain um, forever. Cognitive flexibility, this is one of the recent uh, skills. This is called your mental ability to switch between different options available, different concepts available, and suggest the best option and adapt to it. This is called cognitive flexibility. This is one of the uh, latest uh, trends and future proofing trends. These are repetitive because you can see from uh, in the in the future of uh, skills in 2015 there are some top 10 skills. 2020 top 10, 2030 top 10. You can see the difference. For example, you see the complex problem solving skill which is top most number one in 2015. It has become number two in 2020, and the same skill is becoming number eight in 2030. You know why? Complex problem solving skills. As I told you, the, um, the definition of complex problem solving skill, this is going to eighth place in 10 years from now because, because of the artificial intelligence we are developing. In 10 years from now, computers will be involved. Artificial intelligence will be there involved to find solutions to complex business problems which means we already started studying about artificial intelligence, then machine learning, then we go into deep learning also, which means instead of teaching ourselves, we already started teaching the computers how to solve the problems. In 10 years down the line, the, the com public, uh, complex problem solving is becoming an eighth skill. And another example I can say, the active listening is in the ninth place now, okay? Now, if you go in uh, 2020, active listening is almost uh, not there. And in 2030, this is there. Number three, this skill. And take, for example, creativity. In 2015, it is nowhere. The last, no creativity. 
and in 2020 it is number four and 2030 it is at uh, number five creativity is originality it is almost number five you can see certain skills are always uh, there to stay so internet issues sir internet internet issue. yes yes hello am i audible still yeah, team ja i think we have to call him i think i will call him one minute hello yes sir you are audible audible yeah okay and uh, <laughs> this is my own um, experience and uh, be it be employment or be it be uh, business your own business your managerial and technical skills should always go hand in hand and uh, sorry for my uh, bad graphical representation here the red one is the your technical skill and uh, which follows uh, the cumulative average model which is uh, y equal to a x power b um, because i am a civil engineer i must talk about uh, mathematics uh, only so the uh, yellow is the management skill which is uh, inverse uh, reverse of that if from the beginning years your technical skills would be at the highest are supposed to be at the highest and as you grow further your application of technical skill will keep on reducing unless you are employed in research or teaching or similar organizations where your technical skill should be always at the every day you will keep using it otherwise in other common uh, business sense your technical skills will keep on coming coming down and your managerial skill as a fresher it would be zero and it will keep on increasing but you, you can notice that your technical skill doesn't come to zero which means whatever you are doing your technical skill expertise will be there at the back of your mind while making business decisions so this is how your technical skill and managerial skill will interact sometime back some student was asking about uh, technical managerial i have to grow like this and also from that time onwards i i kept on retaining this slide uh, closing notes uh, now we have come to a conclusion few more minutes and <clears throat> in your job search or in your job upgradation or in your business development enhancing the business and uh, expanding the business you will be always selling yourself as a product selling your product or selling yourself as a product for example if you are a job search you you are the product you are selling your product you have all the qualities your cv everything is there uh, your cv is uh, uh, like your uh, uh, brochure or the operating document or something like that but you are a product by yourself you have to package the product with a nice um envelope nice uh, wrapper called integrity or a wrapper called uh, attitude and seal it with integrity so this that is the right word i can say you are the product should have a wrapper which is called uh, attitude and the seal of that package is the integrity so when you go to the market if the seal is broken you will not buy that product similarly if the integrity is broken you will not be a desired uh, product in the market so keep up your integrity always at top because bending is a serious problem in civil engineering as we know thank you bear with me for the long lecture <laughs> now it's time for <laughs> sir uh, you have to show your face uh, to the audience <laughs> okay you show me face yeah yeah uh, they have to see you no <laughs> i don't know how many of them uh, still there or oh, yeah, <laughs> left? yeah actually the count was around 80 and uh, now it is 40 lot of people left their message and they went yeah i am visible now yeah yeah you are visible you are visible very much uh, this is yeah, only yeah so yeah. 80 uh, became 40 now which means uh, only 50 percentage of questions Uh, maybe no no lot of people have uh, dropped the message and went just to fight in okay uh, no problem ashok i am open for question for uh, how much ever time want don't yeah. limit uh, ultimately if we are not answering their questions and uh, this this lecture is not uh, complete then um sure, it's a one way one way talk so yes, yes i don't want that so don't limit the questions as long as it goes let it go until you become tired or i become tired <laughs>
yeah praful you can start with your questions praful was uh, seriously typing lot of questions i think praful is not there praful are you there no praful is not there he left some questions uh, so can i start yeah yeah, yeah. please please then and this there sir this is rasik ah uh, rasik yeah please uh -huh. Hello, sir. This is Mohammad Rasik. Um, I am finally a civil engineering student from Bangalore Institute of Technology. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, my question goes towards the uh, the topic you had told. What choices after? So, to be honest, I have applied uh, to US uh, for MS MS in US. Okay. So I have uh, successfully got you know three admits in NJIT and uh, two more universities. Okay. So my question is: Is this option really good? Yes, it is good. What is the doubt in it? Yeah. Okay, sir. And so my next question is: Is environmental engineering a very good choice for a civil engineering? Probably to shift a little, be uh, because after a, uh, a couple of survey of uh, talking to a couple of people. Uh, I came to a conclusion because uh, I wanted something which lasts longer or probably the future subject uh, and not stick on to what people always stick on. Like, uh, I don't want to follow everybody's doing geotechnical or everybody's doing transportation or everybody's going into construction management or structures. I want to do it different because, you know, these, these such subjects will are in the future and will last longer. So my what is your suggestion in this aspect, sir? Yeah, the, some time back there was a study um, uh, which areas are promising field, which uh, which areas would be the promising field of employment in future. That uh, one of them is environment, environmental science, because now everyone is conscious about the environment, saving the planet, because we have done enough and more damage. We cannot afford to, to continue our damage further in the interest of the generations to come. So yes. this is going to be uh, one of the promising field provide. Uh, and provide employment in future. Three okay. fields are uh, topmost. One is the education and uh, the ed education sector, then the environment uh, engineering sector, then the uh, psychology, psychological sector. So uh, when I read that, I was thinking to myself after 40 years, maybe all be people will become mad or what, why the psychology is taking place as one of the promising fields of employment in future. Okay. So the plan of going with environmental engineering is uh, good. I can go ahead, no sir. Yes, you can go ahead. If you are not interested in doing what uh, all repetitive, all people are doing repetitively, and then uh, short term gain, this is yeah. a long term gain. Yes, sir. because and one one problem with this is you have to constantly um, upgrade yourself, and yes, you should associate with uh, non governmental organization. This is not the field which one which will give you. A, enormous uh, money um, like you can uh, in world terms we can say we can buy a color tv but we cannot buy a contessa classic this is how uh, when i tried to get into iit one iit and told me if you study in iit you can get a color tv that but you can't get a contessa classic car so i don't know what uh, in, in today's context what should i say but you should be prepared for that because this environmental engineering is um, Unless you start your own business and uh, uh, develop your own systems and products, environment friendly products, and you would be almost working with uh, NGOs and uh, uh, this kind of service oriented uh, bodies, service oriented agencies. So that will not, uh, that may not fit you the income that you can buy, buy a Ferrari car. Okay. Sir, what is the next option I can offer if I probably I can you know, change the subject? Which is the next good subject I can opt? BIM. Okay, sir. BIM. C uh, can I opt for construction management along with BIM? Is it good for MS? Yes. Yes. Construction management with BIM. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Welcome. Yeah, next question, please. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. Yes. So, this is Shweta here. Uh, I'm having a wrong. Um, uh, Ashok, uh, she's not audible. Can you yeah, repeat okay. uh, what she's asking? Shweta, will you speak a little louder? Yeah, you can speak now. Shweta? Uh, 
i think uh, our connectivity is lost uh, there was one okay let me type the question to you you can uh, ask me the question yes. because i am not seeing the i will i will hello, hello what can you hear me yeah yeah please please Uh, sir, what I wanted to ask is, I am having an experience of fourteen years in civil engineering. That is with respect to site only. To I have been in projects. No, louder, louder, please. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I will, I will convey you. Yeah, okay, sir, sir, you, you can tell. Uh, okay, I have an experience of fourteen years in civil engineering with respect to project coordination and uh, quality. I am looking forward uh, for job opportunities in Canada. So I want to ask you, what would be the a proper domain to look forward in uh, canada for a pr with respect to civil engineering is it a boom is it